There it is, the blank page. What to draw, what to draw. As a beginner, I have gotten so much guidance and inspiration from following along with tutorials. Lately, I've been trying to take it a step further by giving it my own spin in a new way after the tutorial, whether that means using my own reference, my own subject matter, my own twist or idea. And this allows me to practice what I've learned and hopefully make it a part of my own bag of tricks. Hi, this is Marcy with Sketchbook Scheming. I really enjoyed following along with this artist. I'll put all the links to the tutorials that I mentioned in the description below. In this tutorial, painting white birch trees against a white background, there were a few techniques that I really loved learning about and practicing. By making the birch trees a little bit off-white instead of white, it helps to offset them against the background. And the other technique was to add a little bit of black edging here and there. Of course, birch trees are not surrounded by black borders, but by giving a little bit of edging here and there, it really helps to distinguish them from the background. I also love the different techniques for adding texture and imperfections to the bark, which help to give them a realistic look. And the tree branches were really fun to add in here and there, pointing in different directions, sometimes big, sometimes small. And the tutorial really helped to give some randomness to these very uniformly spaced birch trees. When I put my own spin on it, I decided to make white birch trees against a black background, and this time I used acrylic. So I painted the back completely black first and let that dry, and then I used pure white for the birch trees. I didn't have to worry about the white on white of the first tutorial in this example. I tried to make the birch trees pretty irregularly shaped, to hopefully avoid the prison look.
I thought it would be fun to add these bursts of bright red to my illustration with real poinsettia leaves. Here I am coating them with some watered down Mod Podge and I plucked a selection of the deep red, the pink, and the green leaves to arrange on one half of my illustration. I love that burst of bright color and I love it as a way to kind of commemorate the holiday season that we had just experienced. to try to give a really nice seal to the glued in leaves and flatten the pages as much as possible. I stored them under that jug of about 40 pounds of pennies. Once everything was nice and flat, I sealed them a few more times with Mod Podge and those leaves are not going anywhere. They might dry up, but they are not escaping from those pages. And I liked the glossy appearance that the Mod Podge gave to the finished pages as well. And before I finish, I would like to share a few more examples of following a tutorial or a reference and then giving it my own spin. This tutorial was about layering with gouache and I painted the cat and then I tried to apply it to a portrait of Jack White. Sorry, Jack. That one didn't really work out so well. In this one, my reference was a painted psychedelic bus on the San Francisco Love Tour. And then I tried to apply the same psychedelic look to my own designs of a psychedelic octopus and a psychedelic mushroom. No pun intended. On the right, I followed a reference of a clownfish that left the border blank in some spots. And then I use that same technique to paint a zebra. I followed a tutorial on painting a beautiful scene in a forest. And then I used my own reference photo of Muir Woods and tried the techniques again. Here's a rainbow jellyfish that I tried to apply to that goat's beard. And finally, here are our birch trees next to another tutorial of a forest. And then this forest was from my imagination, but I felt that the bark on the trees and the details in the foliage really benefited from having done those forest tutorials. I would love to hear what you thought. And if you have any great tutorials to recommend, or if you felt that your artwork has benefited from following along with tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one.